Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt Train Eleven Here, Forty Three. In today's video, I have a video per request of Sid's Trains. He wanted a video on how to do these car lights that I have in these cars. Now I've done a whole bunch of them. This is just one of them. I've got these couple over here, and then I have this one over here, and then the one we're going to be working on is right here. This one, this little beetle. I'll go ahead and show you about it. So let's get going. Alright, so the materials you're going to need for this is a screwdriver. Now, this is a flathead screwdriver, although the screws on this MTH car are actually Phillips head. But I like to use a small flathead. And then, next up, we have this. Maybe I get this in focus. Maybe? There we go. This is a 3mm warm white LED coupled with a 1000 ohm resistor. Now, these are two separate purchases, obviously. I buy these off of Amazon and you're going to need to do a little soldering for this. There's the LED and then there's the resistor and then I'll go ahead and show you my soldering iron in just a second here. We also have a set of wire. Now this is 22 gauge wire and I buy this real cheap off Amazon and it kind of sends a pattern here. I like to buy stuff from Amazon. but. This is 66 feet of this stuff for $7, which I think is a really good deal, so went ahead and used it. Now, a lot of people go thinner with their wires for their LEDs. A lot of people go like 28 or 30 gauge wire, but again, for the price, the 22 gauge stuff is perfect. So, that's that. And you're also going to need a drill bit, and this is a 5 seconds inch drill bit, but you can use whatever size you want, obviously. You have to keep it in context with this, but I feel that this size is really good. Now I've gone across the board a little bit. I've gone to like 930 seconds or 64, so one of them, and then I went to 760 something. I, I, I forget which one it is, but I've gone across the board a little bit, but that's just me. Some of the other items you're going to need is, of course, a drill to drill the hole. And then I also like to have some shrink tubing on hand. And this is just a bulk order I got off of Amazon again. And then I also do have a Drill Master heat gun for the tubing, which I'll show you guys when we need it. And then also you're going to need a way to secure the lights to the car. Now, I used to use Gorilla Glue, and it made a mess off of one of my cars that I did. And since then I started to use tape and this is just some scotch tape that I have so that's what I use and then of course obviously for the wire you're gonna need some strippers and then for the resistor in the LED I cut this down so that way it's not near as long so obviously you are gonna need a pair of wire cutters but that's all the materials you're gonna need so let's get going Alright, so real quick before we get going, this is my soldering station we're going to be using for today's video. Now, this is just my personal preference. This is a Xtronic model number 3020 soldering station. I really like this. And we'll go ahead and fire it up real quick. And I really do like this iron. It's really nice. And then I also have some solder over here and some flux. Now, I use lead-free solder. That's just me. So I do have the flux handy. So, alright, let's get going here. Alright, so I went ahead and put a towel behind the helping hand so you guys can see this a little bit better. So, we've got the resistor right here. And I already went ahead and cut down the one side of this. And then we're going to go ahead and cut the other side down. Now, this is where we're going to need the wire cutters. So we're going to go ahead and cut that down. I like to go kind of short, but that's just me here. So, right about there is fine. And then we'll go ahead and clip it to the helping hands here. Alright. Alright, then next up we have the LED. Now, you got to remember with an LED that the long wire here is the plus. And then the small wire is the negative. That's very important. And then we're going to go ahead and cut it. Now I like to cut it, I don't know how you guys can see that, but there's this little 
outcropping on the LED. That's why I like to cut it. So take our cutters again. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and solder now. Get the iron all ready to go. It's all tinned and we're ready. Now forgive me as I'm looking through the camera lens here, so might not be the greatest of pictures or joints, but there we go. Got it. Alright, so go ahead and do the hot wire now. So, again, I'm looking through the camera lens here, so it might not be the best joint, but soldering is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So if you have never soldered before, Sid, then it might be something worth thinking about. But if you have, then you know how to do this. And I'll call that okay. We're going to take a look at it, and then we'll move on to the ground joint. Alright, so go ahead and do the ground wire now. Again, I'm trying to show this on the camera here and do it, so it might be a little tricky, but... Alright, here we go. Alright, now that we have this one all done up, we'll go ahead and do the other one now. Alright, I got the last wire soldered up. So I'll go ahead and pull it off the helping hands here. And then now you can do this in any order you want, of course. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and get this LED all finished up. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my heat gun and grab some shrink tubing. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. And then I'll go ahead and drill the hole out in the car. Alright, so now we're ready to go ahead and attach the shrink tubing. So here's our piece. And then what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and come in here. And then just feed it through the wire. And then we're going to go ahead and unclip it from the helping hands for a second. And then it'll just come right up. Here. Now I want to make my tube a little bit longer. That's just the way I like to do it. And then I only do one wire at a time when I tube it. So that's just the way I like to do it. So I'll go ahead and take the heat gun. You know, here we go. And then I'll go ahead and fire it up and tube it. So here we go. Alright, there we go. So we'll go ahead and do the other one now. Alright, so here's our ground wire. Alright, so now we're done with the shrink tubing, the heat gun, and the wire cutter. So, go ahead and open up the car now. The wheels just come right off, and so does the interior. And then this is what we're presented with. And then our goal is to get this out of here. All right, so now what I like to do is I like to clip it in the helping hands. And then we'll go ahead and load the bit into our drill. Get it nice and tight. And then, obviously, I'm sure you know how to drill a hole, so I'm not going to show this. But, you know, you just take your bit and go to town on it. Now, what I like to do is I like to alternate between the outside of the light, like here, and then the inside of the light in there. 
that's just the way I like to do it. So I'll go ahead and drill this and then we'll be right back and we'll take a look at what to do next. Alright, so after you got it drilled out, that's what it looked like. Now it does make a little bit of a mess. So as you guys can see, we got metal shavings all over the place. And I just like to clean it up with a shop vac before I continue on. So let me do that and then we'll put the LED in there. Alright, so the next part of this is pretty easy. We got the car and then we have our lights. Now one thing you can do with this, and what I sometimes do is when I'm heating the tubing, I like to bend it. That way you can get the lights a little bit more contoured to where you're working. So now basically just a matter of putting light in there like that. And then you really bend it quite a bit so that way it'll that way you won't see it from your interior here. And then what I like to do is I just like to tape it. Just put some tape, you know, here and here, and that's it. Alright, so there's our first light. And it's in there. And then I like to kind of wrap the tape around it so that way you can't tell it's there. And then I just do the same thing for the other one. Alright, so here's our completed circuit. Now, don't make this look pretty. No one's ever going to see this. So, make it as, you know, if you want to be neat, make it neat. But you don't have to. You can make it as dirty as this. You'll never see it. So, we got one more hole to drill and then we're done. Alright, so the only other thing you got to do besides obviously, you know, pulling the interior in, you just feed the wires, there's a, you know, hole there, you just feed the wires through. You got one more hole to drill, and that is somewhere around, anywhere here, probably like right about there maybe, just drill another hole with the drill so that way you can obviously feed the wires to get the power supply. And then... Just tighten the screws and you're done. Alright, so here's our completed car. Now you can see we got the four wires. Now, what you can do and what I usually do is I usually tie the two hots and the two grounds together and then I run them to the power supply. So, that's all we got around here. So, we'll go ahead and just do some final wiring connections and then we'll go ahead and bring it to the power supply and fire it up. Alright, so here's our completed car, and I went ahead and shut the room lights off so you guys can see this better. But, there you go. Now, it does have a little different hue as far as the lighting goes. You can kind of see, compare that one to this one. You can see a difference, but I really like this, and I hope you enjoy this, Sid, and hope you, all you other guys found this very useful and interesting. So, I do apologize about my soldering. On the camera, it's actually the first time on this video that I've ever soldered on the camera, so it was not the greatest, but I do solder pretty well. But uh, but yeah, so there you go. If you guys want any other videos or anything like that on LEDs or anything like that, just let me know, and I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. Take care.